So, so daddy, daddy has a song, uh, No Woman, No Cry. I remember when we used to sit in a tenement yard in Trenchtown, right? And I remember that yard very well. So yesterday when we spoke about what's needed most urgently, and it was the roof, the roof over our heads, right? And and to me, like, I'm, I'm giving myself shivers <laughs> just <laughs> saying it because I, I cannot imagine if this was, you know, 50 years ago that this hurricane came and we were going to be without that roof. We're all inspired by our human connection that arises when we share food with others. So what's on your heart becomes a hub for truly heartfelt conversation. Tertulia, as they say in Spanish, fostering genuine bonds between individuals, creating that sense of community and connection. I'm Paul Jacobs, your podcast co-host, ready to inspire you by conversations that nourish the soul as we go beyond the plate. I'm Daniel Patino, welcoming you to join us for some truly inspiring tertulia. Get ready to satisfy that craving for connection and inspiration as we dive into time. Topics that not only broaden your perspective, but also deepen your understanding of lives of families in Latin America, the Caribbean, or even in your own backyard. So wherever our conversations take us, come along for the ride and let's go beyond the plate together. Well, first of all, many of you know that on Beyond the Plate, I have a co-host, Danny Patino, but Danny Patino took a back seat to probably one of the most recognized names in the entire world, and that is the Marley family. And I'm having the opportunity to interview Sedella Marley, daughter of probably the most recognizable name in music worldwide, if not ever in the history of humanity. One of the most recognizable names. Any country you go to, any continent you go to, you know the name Bob Marley. And so beyond just the legacy of the name, it's the heart of the matter. And that's what we do here at Beyond the Plate. Welcome, Sidella Marley. Thank you. Good to be here. <laughs> and of course, I got to be on my best behavior, by the way, because <laughs> I have the boss in the room. Usually we get to act up on this podcast and we get an opportunity to say whatever we want. But now I've got to mind my P's and Q's. Like I literally, do you see my back straight? I'm sitting up straight oh, on this, right? Okay. Like, oh, no, no, not you. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting the paycheck next Friday. Paul needs uh, to clean it. Is that his <laughs> act <up>? Okay. <laughs> but we're here with our president and CEO, Ed Rain. Thank you, Ed, for joining us. It's such an important time. Oh, of course, we got a very important topic to talk about today. Absolutely. So many of you... Uh, as you're listening to this podcast, watching us on YouTube, you may have already known that a Category 5, probably a history-making storm, mm -hmm. the earliest Category 5 formed storm in the history, probably a once-in-a-hundred-year event, mm. um, just barreled through the southern uh, parishes of Jamaica. And Hurricane Barrel not only just affected four major parishes in southern Jamaica, but the entire country because it was so powerful and so big. But we're here not to talk about the destruction, but the tomorrow that mm -hmm. could be through your help right now. So I, I really want to dive in and ask you, Sidella, please tell me what is your why? Why are we here sitting here and understanding the need for people to turn around after they listen to this podcast and do something? Yeah, well, for me, it's it's not the why, it's the why not, mm. you know? Um, when you're called to action, uh, when I'm called to action, I show up. Yeah. Uh, and it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, once my spirit moves me to do something, I show up. And that's the why, you know? Uh, it was just yesterday, phone calls going back and forth, um... I called Anne. I was like, what's up? I'm on FaceTime. She introduces me to Ed. <laughs> and I'm like, what's up? So we're old friends as of yesterday. As of yesterday. Five oh, wow. Yeah, man, yesterday, yesterday. <laughs> yesterday. Um, By the way, your cool points just went like way high. With right? Me. You knew uh, this, right? Yeah, man. I yeah. try. Yeah, man. <laughs> and then it was like 20, 20 minutes later, they're at my house. Oh, wow. And we're, we're talking about it. We're talking about what's happening in Jamaica and... My thing is like, how can I help? Um, I'm a big fan of food for the poor. I told him that. Um, I remember a long, long time ago from high school, father, whole long days. I mean, like I've, I've been, oh my gosh. you know, so just just growing up and going to Catholic school, I know about food for the poor, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so, I mean, that's the why, you know, and um, I'm just hoping that together we can really make something different happen. 
So with that, something, making something different happen, Ed, for those listening and watching us on our podcast right now, probably you're not understanding that the yesterday that Sadella was talking about was the 4th of July. Yeah. So a lot of us are barbecuing. Not us. Uh, not us. <laughs> no, we a lot won't. of us are picking up the fireworks and where we're not going to us. picnic, but no. we're all working on behalf of Jamaica. You want to talk a little bit about that, Ed? Well, uh, first of all, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is. When disaster strikes, you have to respond, and, mm-hmm. and that is our business, relief and development. Uh, I think it's it's important for everyone to know that we've been in uh, when we've been doing this work for 42 years and in Jamaica for 40 years. Yeah. And in that time, uh, you know, we've done a lot of work uh, in Jamaica. I think it's 35,000 homes we've built uh, and uh, many schools in Jamaica, probably about 100 schools either built or, or and certainly many more uh, refurbished and repaired. But those are in good times. Now a devastating uh, storm goes through and we know that the southern parishes have got really hit yeah. very, very hard. And we're now seeing today, I didn't even have the photo, photos and videos yesterday. Today we've got them. And we can see especially, you know, uh, Treasure Beach, Alligator Pond, uh, uh, Portland Cottage, these, these whole, all these southern areas really are struggling. And uh, we had uh, some Food for the Poor reps out there in uh, uh, Portland Cottage and just walked down one road and could see 100 homes without roofs on. Mm-hmm. One road? One road, one road. So when uh, when when we spoke yesterday, said Ella, we were talking about, all right, well, is there a possibility for Food for the Poor and the, and the, the Bob and, and, and Rita Molly Foundation to come together and do some work to, to really help? And obviously the answer is yes. That's why we're here together. Yeah. And we're so excited. So first of all, let me say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is such an important moment for us to to really, uh, you know, bring people together to realize that this is about loving thy neighbor, something your mm-hmm. father cared so much mm-hmm. about, you know, and the uh, and getting and getting the support in there as quickly as we can. So this is something that uh, you, even as of, so we're here Friday the 5th, we have already got 27 containers on their way to Jamaica. Wow. We have uh, in total 53 containers going to these affected areas. So Jamaica, uh, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, the, the Grenada, uh, St. Lucia, anywhere that's got some help need, the help needed, we are going to respond. This is this is our domain. We're in 17 countries. These, these are the countries we're in. This is what we live to support. And, and really quick, I just want to clarify something because a lot of times we use our terms that we use here at Food for the Poor. You're talking about containers. I'm not talking about a Tupperware butter dish <laughs> of, of, of supplies, <laughs> some Band-Aids. We're talking about a 40-foot container filled yeah. with life-saving support for families yeah. who need it. Well, and, the, and the, the big thing, and everybody gets this, it costs a lot of money to do this work. So mm-hmm. yeah. cash is absolutely vital right now. Um, you know, we've, uh, we have a big warehouse in, 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 uh, in Spanish Town, so we're able to get goods out. We were actually providing goods as, as quickly as yesterday afternoon. Yeah. But that quickly runs out, and there's so many thousands of people who are, and it's, it's tens of thousands, my guess, is, mm-hmm. are in need. Uh, so uh, roofing works perfectly for us because this is what we do, and we build houses. Uh, so getting supplies of zinc in there and hurricane straps and yeah, to, hurricane to make sure we're really important. locking people yep. into a, a position of safety. So, uh, But uh, food, hygiene kits... Uh, and uh, you know the building materials. These are the things that we're lining up for. So we've got things started, but we need donations desperately to be able to fuel this. There is tremendous urgency, and unfortunately, and I haven't seen the forecast in the last few hours, but there was a second storm, mm-hmm. tropical storm, and yes. a subtropical storm coming in, mm-hmm. and it will dump rain on all these people who don't have roofs. Yeah. Yeah. So the problem is going to be here that you're going, you know, it's it's insult to injury, right? It's it's just going to be that much more miserable. Yeah. So that's that's our that's our ask. We need we need people's help from, and it really is, uh, you know, a, a little bit from everybody adds up to an incredible uh, uh, amount of generosity that can be used. And Fufu the Poor is, you know, really a household name in, in uh, Jamaica, and uh, people know that they can trust what we do. And so we're looking uh, for that support uh, and for people to rally around us. And yeah. uh, so and we're just thrilled that the the Mali Foundation is willing to do this. So of course. Of course, we don't have it any other way. If I can ask you, as we wrap up here, our time, what's one story that encapsulates the heart of your why not? Mm. I I, I mean, you you know, I have to go back to the fact that both my parents from Jamaica, my mother 
who just went back to Jamaica after a 41 year, I mean, she hadn't been back for almost 40 years and went back and went to her old home in Havendale, went back to her old school Mm -hmm. and some of the neighborhoods. And her heart was just pounding in her chest to think, my God, this is where I'm from. These are my, this is my home. You know, she lives in South Florida, but Jamaica is always home for us, right? Yeah. What's that one story that encapsulates and surrounds that why not for you and why you're here right now? So so Daddy Daddy has a song, uh, No Woman, No Cry. I remember when we used to sit in a tenement yard in Trenchtown, right? And I remember that yard hmm. very well. So yesterday when we spoke about what's needed most urgently, and it was the roof, the roof over our heads. Yeah. Right? And and to me, like I'm I'm giving myself shivers <laughs> just saying <laughs> it. Because I, I cannot imagine if this was, you know, 50 years ago that this hurricane came and we were going to be without that roof, yeah. you know. And that's why it's important for me to, to step up and do what I know Daddy would have done. And I know when I said, Mommy, I'm heading to food for the poor, she says, about time you get up and go do something. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yes. That's and that's awesome. it. Yeah, man. Wow. I, yeah, man. That, <laughs> that, that, see, I, I say that all the time. People say, you're Jamaican? Yeah, man. Because <laughs> so, they hear that, you know, they don't yeah. hear my accent. But, you know, I have to tell you, I have to blame your father for the reason I can't sell my car. You know that, right? No. Oh, yes. Why? Is it Rob- BMW? Robert Nesta Marley CD <laughs> from the Songs of Freedom is stuck in my CD player. <laughs> and I can't get this thing out for the life of me. And that car is not leaving my possession without that CD being oh, wow. back in my hands. Come, what, what CD is it? Songs of Freedom, All right. disc three. Th- uh, we're going to send it has you one. My, one of my favorite songs on that CD. Which on is that, what? Smile Jamaica. So, ah, ah. That is, ah, that's it. Yeah, and this, this is what we were talking about yesterday. What's our anthem? For, for our relationship, and it's Smile Jamaica. Smile Jamaica, you know, there we, we go. We, well, we, can all, we, can all, we can all wrap ourselves around that. Yeah. And, and, and smile. And smile. And smile. Yeah. Sadella Marley, thank you for coming on Beyond the Plate, but thank you more than that for your heart, thank for the you. Jamaican people and the people that Food for the Poor serves, because, well, without your support, you are the fuel that really gets our hands and feet moving. Thank you. God thank bless you. you. God bless you. Thank, thank you, Sadella. Thanks for joining our conversation that took us beyond the plate. Let's remind you, we're your fans too. And we hope to give you the ingredients to be inspired. And maybe your compassion leads you to start the next life-changing movement. You might be our next guest. Be sure to check us out on all podcast platforms. And if you'd like to find past episodes, go to foodforthepoor.org slash podcast. Or simply watch your favorite episode on our YouTube page. Search Beyond the Plate. Join us for our best bite. Smash that like button. Leave us a comment. Tell a friend. Or five. Thank you for joining us at Beyond the Plate.